Using PowerPoint in Salon is a great way to get your students to give you feedback about the lecture. Now we've got to do some work to put the PowerPoint documents into Salon. They don't import directly into Salon. So here's how you can do it. There are a few things that I'll show you here that can help you get the document ready for Salon. So take this PowerPoint for example. This PowerPoint has a bunch of slides and some formatting and also images. So you like to get all of this stuff into a document as soon as possible. So what's the easiest way to do it? You can, of course, you can cut and paste and do things like that, but you can also do go to File and do a Save As, and save the PowerPoint as an outline RTF file, rich text format. So let's save that file. And then when you go to the desktop, you'll be able to find this file. So here's the file. And then file has some formatting preserved, but no images. Uh, all you need is to select all of the content and copy it. And then go to Salon and create a new document. And then paste all of that stuff that you copied into the Salon document. Now, you can select all of this stuff. Now, there are a lot of formatting tools that you can use to format this content. So one of the first things you can do is you can select all and make them all like size 18. So they are big enough. But you can do then the other things very easily. So for instance, you can take this header and make it 24 points and make it color blue and maybe bold. So that looks like a PowerPoint. You can take this, this do the same thing. And uh, you can go, uh, you can take this part here, this is a PowerPoint presentation title, you can make it uh, 24 points, make it bold, center it, you can do a lot of different things to make it look like PowerPoint very graphical. Now what about the other stuff? Like for instance, what about the things like images and other things? How can I get those things into PowerPoint? There are a few ways to do it. So when it comes to images, you look at an image and for the most part, if you select the slide with the image, let's take this image for example, you should be able to save this as a picture. So let's save this as a picture first. So you right click it and save as a picture. So let's save this as a picture to desktop. It's called picture two. All right, so what do I do with this picture? Now I want to make sure that it's formatted well enough for our salon. So I will go and find this picture two. Let's do that. So let's find picture two. Here's picture two and open that with the paintbrush. You notice that the picture looks very, very large. So ideally the salon pictures must be resized and reformatted. So in order to resize it, you can Select about a 600 pixel uh, maintain aspect ratio, take about horizontal level 600 pixels, and click OK, and you can save it. Now, choose, you can, make, you can go bigger than this, but choose a size that's comfortable for you, but not too big. So what you need to do is now, this, you save this JPEG picture as, let's call it picture 2 on the desktop. So let's pick, save that. And now what you need to do is you go back to Salon and let's say that you like to insert the picture right here. So let's say we want to insert the picture right here. So you're going to go here and go to images, upload the image, go to your desktop, find the picture too. Let's find this picture too. That's the JPEG file. Upload it. Once you get the picture too, then insert the selected image. So the image should be in there. Now one of the other things you could do is you can write you can leave a place for comments. So you'll leave a place for comments here. You can do that for each slide in order to make it work, uh, work for the students. So once you do a few of these things, you can do the formatting as you like, you can make the fonts bigger, and you save the file. Once you save the file, you can share this link with anyone in your class. And what you see is really a full screen PowerPoint presentation. Now this PowerPoint presentation can be annotated by students. So when they annotate the PowerPoint presentation, they should be able to click and choose and choose tags if they like. And we'll be able to annotate this PowerPoint slide. So it's a great way to get comments on a PowerPoint slide. So now let me show you an, a PowerPoint slide that's completely done. So let's take go to my, my documents and I will show you one here. It's called PowerPoint Demo. So notice that this PowerPoint uh, presentation is done. So when students read things, they'll be able to select an allow annotation uh, button here, and then go and select 
uh, annotate something and then you can uh, choose tags this is something you can assign explain more in class you can write a comment here save it now once I refresh I'm going to see all of those things and then you can go and find some point that you're discussing here write a comment here choose a tag give an example save it and then go to another place do the same thing uh, choose tag difficult write a comment save it so all your comments are going to be saved now when you refresh it you're going to see your comments so here are your comments and everyone's going to see it so this is a great way to get the students to see and, and respond to your slides in addition to that they're able to see who did what comment as well as they will be able to filter by the tags so getting a PowerPoint into Salon is a useful exercise especially you can get good feedback about your PowerPoint slides where they have to be improved where they can be uh, refined